Have you ever wished you could have the always on display on your phone even if it doesn't support it? Well, in this video I'm going to show you a super simple mod to get always on display on almost any iPhone with an OLED screen and the best part, no jailbreak needed. Okay, before we jump in, a quick disclaimer. This mod is for entertainment purposes only it can seriously damage your phone, so be sure to have a backup or try this on a spare iPhone. I'm not responsible for anything that happens or if you break your phone. Now with that out of the way, let's dive in. The magic behind this mod comes from an app called Mesaka X. This app gives you a jailbreak-like experience without needing to jailbreak your device. Okay, here we are on my Mac. So guys, just make sure you're on Mac OS 11 or higher. So that's Big Sur or newer. I'm doing this on the latest Mac OS Sequoia 15. So it should be good. Um, <clears throat> you also need Python 3 installed on your Mac. So to check if you have it, just open the terminal and type Python 3-- version. And I have Python 3, so I'm good here. If you don't have it, you can install it through something like Homebrew. Just type brew install Python. So I will get a warning because I already have it installed. If you don't have Homebrew, I will leave all the links on how to install it down below in the description so you can follow along. It's a pretty straightforward process. Now, step one is to download misakax.dmg from one jailbreak website. So just head over to one jailbreak and download Misaka for Mac OS. Once you have it downloaded, just unzip it and move it to applications. Okay, I already have it there, so I will click on replace and just open Misaka. Oh, okay, so you might see a message saying Misaka app is damaged and can be opened. This is due to a certificate issue, but it's easy to fix. Just open the terminal again and type xattr-c slash applications slash Misaka app. Hit enter and now try again to open Misaka app. See, now it's working. If for some reason it's not working for you, then uh, make sure to go to system settings, then privacy and security, and under security, just make sure you have allow applications from App Store and known developers, not just App Store. And you should be good to go. Important note, your iPhone must be running iOS 18 or newer for this to work. And also very important, find my iPhone must be disabled on your device when doing this mod. You can enable it afterwards, but now just disable it Otherwise, the Misaka X app will just reboot your iPhone and the changes won't get saved. So just disable it for now and then enable it once you're done with modifying your phone. Okay, now that the Misaka X is installed, the next step is to retrieve the mobile gestalt.plist from your iPhone. You will need to download a shortcut called Save Mobile Gestalt. 
Link is in the description below, by the way. And this shortcut basically identifies the location of the file, retrieves it and saves it. So just run the shortcut and click open to save it. And once that is done, locate your file from the files app. I have it here in downloads and you will need to transfer this file to your Mac through AirDrop. So long press, then hit share, AirDrop, and then your Mac. Once you have your mobile Gestalt playlist saved on your Mac, connect your phone via USB, open Misaka app, and then just select the mobile Gestalt file. Click open and click on always on display and hit apply. That will reboot your phone. I hope we didn't break the phone. <laughs> okay, it's booting now. Okay, and we should have the always on display so let me lock the phone yeah it's locked and there it is always on on an iphone 12 mini that doesn't officially support it okay um let me type my passcode here real quick and let me lock it for you once again it's locked and that's the always on display. Just keep in mind that even though this is an OLED, it lacks the hardware necessary for a true always on display. So the always on feature typically works on, you know, lowering the screen refresh rate to 1%, but this phone is locked at 60 Hertz. So this is mostly just for fun or <laughs> to prank someone. Yeah, it's definitely not for like everyday use. I mean, you might use this. I had this feature running on my iPhone for a day or two and it doesn't drain the battery that much, but I've made a few key adjustments to make this work. Let me show you what I have done to make this work. First, and this is really important, set your lock screen wallpaper to pitch black. This will allow the pixels to remain off, saving a good amount of power. Also set your phone to permanent dark mode with dark icons. This will help a lot. And maybe you will notice that the date and time are still quite bright. So you will need to customize the color and tweak the settings of the color to make it less glaring or maybe find a color that is less in your face. Another pro tip I have is to turn on the reduce white point option. I have set a accessibility shortcut to enable this whenever I triple click my side button just like this. See? And this will dim the screen just enough to mimic a true always on display. And if I'm outside and I need a brighter screen, I just triple click again and this will bring the phone back to full brightness. Triple click to dim, triple click to make it bright. To enable this, you need to go to settings, then accessibility, scroll all the way to the bottom, accessibility shortcut, and set it to reduce white point. Also, if you check the settings under display and brightness, you will see that the always on display option is here. You can easily toggle it on or off from this menu and all these other options work 100% so you can also choose whether you want to show the wallpaper or not or the notifications totally up to you. 
there are plenty of other mods available if you want to explore. One I have tried is the charge limit mode, which lets you set your iPhone to stop charging at a specific percentage like 80% or 90%. This can help extend battery lifespan and I believe this feature is standard on the iPhone 15 and 16 Pro models. I've tested it and it works flawlessly. It might not be very practical for an iPhone 12 mini, but it could be useful if you have a regular iPhone 12 or 12 Pro. Alright guys, if you found this helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more cool tips. Links to everything I mentioned, including the commands and shortcuts are in the description below. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.